morning. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we have just entered the season of Advent. We are preparing for the coming of Jesus, not only on Christmas Day, but most especially at the end of our lives and of the world. And yet we must not forget that Jesus is coming every day especially every time that we gather around this Eucharistic table. Let us acknowledge His presence, but let's, let us also acknowledge that we are sinners in need of God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Look with favor, Lord God, on our petitions, and in our trials, grant us your compassionate help, that consoled by the presence of your Son, whose coming we now await, we may be tainted no longer by the corruption of former ways. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, a shoot shall sprout from the stump of Jesse, and from his roots a bud shall blossom. The Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, a spirit of wisdom and of understanding, a spirit of counsel and of strength, a spirit of knowledge and of fear of the Lord, and his delight shall be the fear of the Lord. Not by appearance shall he judge, nor by hearsay shall he decide, but he shall judge the poor with justice and decide a right for the lands afflicted. He shall strike the rootless with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. Justice shall be banned around his waist, and faithfulness a belt upon his hips. Then the wolf shall be a guest of the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid. The calf and the young lion shall browse together 
with a little child to guide them. The cow and the bear shall be neighbors. Together their young shall rest. The lion shall eat hay like the ox. The baby shall play by the cobra's den. And the child lay his hand on the other's hair. There shall be no harm or ruin on all my holy mountain. For the earth shall be filled with knowledge of the Lord as water covers the sea. On that day, the root of Jesse set up as a signal for the nations. The Gentiles shall seek out for his dwelling, shall be glorious. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment and thou the king, and with your justice the king's son, he shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flower in his days and the profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. He shall rescue the poor when he cries out and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor, the lives of the poor he shall save. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. May his name be blessed forever, as long as the sun his name shall remain. In him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed, all the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Please stand. Behold, our Lord shall come with power. He will enlighten the eyes of his servants. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Turning to the disciples in private, he said, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I say to you, many prophets and kings desired to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. 
To the disciples he said, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. Indeed, they were blessed because they saw Jesus in his physical form, the way you see me and I see you. They were able to hear his voice. Have you ever wondered what the voice of Jesus is like or was like? But they were able to, to hear his voice. They were able to touch his hands. Probably some of them were able to kiss his, in his, on his cheeks. Blessed are they. And you may be wondering also, how about us? How about me? Am I not blessed because I did not see Jesus in his physical form? Yes, we are blessed still. Because we see Jesus not with the naked eyes, but with the eyes of faith. Dati-rati, ang mga alagad nakikita ng kanilang mga mata ang Panginoon. Pero tayo, nakikita natin ng Diyos sa pamamagitan ng mata ng pananampalataya. I'll give you two examples. One is the Holy Eucharist. For naked eyes, what you see is bread. Manipis na tinapay, walang lasang tinapay, maliit na tinapay. That's what the naked eyes see. Maliit na tinapay. Pero, kapag ginamit natin ang mga mata ng pananampalataya, ang nakikita natin ay hindi lamang tinapay. Kaya nga kapag kayo tumatanggap ng komunyon, hindi ko naman sinasabing tinapay at sasagot kayo ng amen. No. Anong sinasabi ko? Katawan ni Kristo. Katawan ni Kristo. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. And you say, Amen. Why? Because you believe that what you receive is not just an ordinary bread. You believe with your eyes of faith that what you see and what you receive is Jesus Himself. You need the eyes of faith to see that. Kaya sa isang taong walang pananampalataya, yun ang pinamimigay natin sa komunyon ay tinapay. Walang lasa. Hindi ka mabubusog. Pero sa isang may pananampalataya, yun ay si Jesus mismo. Pangalawang example, marami na siguro sa inyo ang may belen sa bahay. Sana po yung iba maglagay din ng belen. Wag lang Christmas tree. Wag lang Christmas lights. The center of the Christmas season is not Christmas tree or even Santa Claus. The center of, of the Christmas season is the Belen, the manger. And when you look at the manger, what you see? What do you see? A baby. A baby. Frail. Small. He may be cute, but still a baby. With the naked eyes, what we see is a baby. With, but with the eyes of faith, what do you see? This is the Son of God that became man for me and for you. Sa walang pananampalataya, yun ay isa lamang sanggol na mahina, maliit, kinakailangang alagaan, pakainin, damitan. Pero sa isang may pananampalataya, yun ay walang iba kundi ang anak ng Diyos. And that was the problem of the Pharisees and the scribes during the time of Jesus. They look at Jesus using only their naked eyes. So what did, what did, what did they see? Well, a rabbi, a teacher, nothing more. But with the eyes of faith, just like those disciples around him, they see the Messiah. 
naked eyes, eyes of faith. Kapag malabo ng ating mata, pumupunta tayo sa optometrist. Nagpapasuka tayo ng salamin para makita natin ang ating paligid. Kapag lumalabo ang mata ng ating pananampalataya, humihingi tayo sa Diyos ng biyaya. Panginoon, give me the eyes of faith. Lord, strengthen my faith. Sa buhay natin, maraming mga nangyayari na kung titignan lamang natin ang ating mga physical eyes, hindi natin maiintindihan. Pero kung titignan natin ang mga nagaganap sa ating buhay ng, may, ng mga mata ng may pananampalataya, makikita natin may dahilan ang lahat. May kahulugan ang lahat. That is why I said our prayer should be, Lord, increase my faith that I may see not only with my naked eyes, but with the eyes of faith. Amen. Please stand. The Father reveals the mysteries of the kingdom to the little ones. Let us pray to our God who shows such love for the small and weak people. We bring all our needs before our Heavenly Father, confident of His loving care. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who serve the church as bishops, priests, and ministers may proclaim God's kindness and love, especially to the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That civil leaders may give attention to the needs of the humblest citizens. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That children may get to know God by our teachings and examples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may find comfort and healing in the care and concern of those who nurse them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may enjoy the everlasting happiness in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, your Son promised to give us rest when overburdened. Grant that we may always respond to His guidance and strengthen us to be instruments of His peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, 
that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly, truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at least made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the jewel, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink it this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As one family with one common Father, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, not just an ordinary bread. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Eucharist has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thank you.